Hey, howdy y'all. Welcome to Whiskey Woman Whisk. I picked up a special deal on these pears from Azure and they are absolutely the best pears I've ever had. We've been eating fresh, but now we need to get to preserving what is left before they go bad. So I'm gonna put together a salted pear bourbon vanilla caramel sauce. And I'm gonna double this recipe, but I will leave the recipe in the description below. Um, yes, mine are starting to turn a little brown. If you want to prevent that, you can definitely uh, dice up your pears into a bowl of water with a little lemon in it. Uh, it's gonna get caramelized in the process anyway, so I'm not worried about the color. I'm just gonna dice these up directly into my crock pot. Okay, so for four pounds of pears diced up, you're going to need to add in a third cup of this apple cider vinegar. Add to that, we're going to go with two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, so after we get this lemon juice in, we also need to add in our bourbon. I am using the last bit of this Henderson vanilla flavored bourbon. You can use any basic bourbon, just make sure you don't use a rye. That doesn't really go great with um, anything sweet that you're making. So, basic bourbon, nothing high rye. Okay, so there's just like, I don't know, half a teaspoon left. I'm just going to drizzle that in there. That won't hurt. We also want to add just a bit of salt. So, we're going to add in our sea salt. I'm actually using pink Himalayan and you need about two teaspoons in here. Okay, so technically you should put down your pears for about 45 minutes to soften them, but mine are really soft, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything in the crock pot, but I will leave the directions in the description for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get our dark brown sugar in here, and we'll give it a good stir. And then after I get this stirred down in here pretty good, I'm gonna set my crock pot on high and we're just gonna let this go for about an hour. I'll come back and give it a stir and check for tenderness on these pears again. And then I'll get out my immersion blender and we're just gonna start getting it smooth. Okay, my pears are good and tender. I'm gonna use my immersion blender to blend it all smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, just transfer it into a blender. Just be careful because it's really hot. Okay, so this sauce has been a simmering on high in my crock pot. I keep my lid tilted so that it doesn't steam and that condensation drip back down in, making your sauce thin out. I come and stir it every now and then, scrape down the sides a little bit, and look how lovely and yummy that looks. Let's get to canning. Okay, I'm using my steam canner today. I went ahead and got my jars in here so that they have been getting heated up and ready for us to use. Let's start filling these hot jars with hot sauce. You wanna leave about a quarter inch of head space and you'll want to tap your jars on the counter just a little bit, just give them a tap in case there's any air bubbles in there, this is pretty liquidy, so it's not too much of a concern. Or you can use your debubbler to help you with that. And so I'm going to go ahead and get all these jars filled. I'm going to use these 4 ounce, and I'm also going to use some 8 ounce jars so that we have what we need for what purposes, such as on waffles or ice cream, or you could use it. Um, Oh, there's so many uses for this, but anywhere you would maybe use a caramel sauce, um, you can use this salted caramel pear sauce. Oh, I really love it in oatmeal or yogurt on top of yogurt with some granola. Super yummy. Okay, so we've got sticky sauce here, so we want to make sure we get those rims really clean. So vinegar with a paper towel for me is the best way to do that. Be sure and give it a little tap, make sure there's no bubbles, and uh, get those. I usually go around the rim a couple of times with vinegar and make sure that there is nothing sticky on that rim so that we can prevent our seal from not happening. We want to get a good seal so we can put these on the shelf for future use. 
Okay, after you get that rim good and clean, we're gonna go ahead and add our lids and rings, and we're just gonna give those a finger tight. Not too tight on there, just using your fingers, and put those in the steam canner. You can also water bath this, so um, if you don't have a steam canner, this is a water bath recipe, so you can definitely water bath. You'll put it in your hot water and bring it to a boil. Either way, we're gonna go for 15 minutes on this. Okay, so if you're using a steam canner, check your manual for what zone you'll be in for when to start your timer. Okay, so after I hit the zone, I steam can for 15 minutes, and then I let it sit with no heat for five, for five more minutes, and then I raise the lid, and I can start removing these from the canner. Just look at this lovely sauce. It is so rich and delicious. I sure hope you'll give this sauce a try. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these out. Then we need to let them rest for at least 12 hours. Then we'll check our seals, make sure everything is good to go. And then in 24 hours, I'll be sure and take these rings off and give them a good wash to make sure there's nothing sticky. Sometimes it'll get sticky caught up underneath those rings. So you do wanna make sure you get those cleaned up. Okay, so as you can see, I had a few more jars to go. So as I'm pulling jars out, I'm putting in another round. I might have could have squeezed all these in, but I'll just get them going on another round. Not a problem at all. It doesn't take but a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me today while I make this salted caramel bourbon pear sauce. I sure hope you'll give it a try. Be sure and check the description for the complete recipe link. And as always, y'all have a good one.